Hello everyone, this is Matthias Carsten from RME here at the uh, NEM Show 2017 in uh, cold and rainy Anaheim, California. Um, hot news, differently to the weather, uh, is the new UFX2. The UFX2 is uh, basically the UFX Plus without Mali and without USB 3. So that means it's an update to the old UFX. Uh, new converters, new analog circuitry, uh, new connections, new housing design, uh, better technical specs of course. Uh, we have a special connection on the back for the new ARC USB, another new device that we present here at NAM. So you can use the ARC USB with this device uh, even in standalone mode and when you use it class compliant with the iPad. The UREC function is the same updated version as on the UFX Plus and all the rest is like before. You have 30 channels I.O., meaning four microphone and instrument inputs. You have the rest on the back, uh, a total of 12 channels analog I.O. You have 16 channels ADAT, two ports I.O. Um, and AS I.O. So applications for this unit are uh, studio recording, field recording, uh, use it with the iPad, with the Windows computer, with the Mac computer. Um, we have a simple USB 2 interface only, but don't worry. The drivers on the Windows 32 samples work reliably, and we have all the 30 channels in and out with USB 2. This is our me, so it just works. So, coming back to this little game here that we uh, present on the NEM show 2017 in Anaheim, is the new ARC USB. Now, Arc USB is an interface that we announced first for the UFX Plus, but uh, in reality it works with everything. Everything that is uh, supported by Total Mix FX. Because this one talks to Total Mix FX. So if you have an old HDSP multi-phase from 2001, you can control it with this hardware controller completely. That means you have 15 programmable buttons with more than 40 functions that you can assign to these. You can now just grab your desk to adjust volume for phones, for mains, or whatever. And all the typical studio functions like um, talkback, speaker B, dim, stuff like that. Uh, easy to access, solid, weight, nice, doesn't slide on your uh, desktop. Um, can be connected to the UFX Plus and UFX 2 directly, or else you just connect it to your computer. This is a simple USB 1.1 connection. so. Very easy to use, can have long cables and just works. Plug it in, works directly, no configuration, unless you want to exchange all the functions on these buttons, which is easy to do within Total Mix FX. Another new product here shown in them is the Digiphase USB. So, a uh, long time RME customers will remember the Digiphase, that was a 3 ADA IO. Uh, interface based on PCI and PCI Express that is no longer available for one or two years and we always thought there are still a lot of users that just want to have something simple uh, connecting their ADAT equipment, be it converters or old recorders or whatever, uh, to a computer. So why not do this with USB? And here it is. Small, lightweight, 220 grams only, uh, have four ADAT IOs, that means 23 channels on ADAT and an additional high quality headphone output, same technology as in the Babyface Pro. Just USB bus powered, so easy and simple. Of course, you can also use any of these IOs as a speeder. So connect one or two or three speeder and one ADAT, any combination is possible. This one runs on TotalMix FX, but has no FX included, so just the normal TotalMix routing and uh, mi mixing. So from multi-channel applications up to 
just using this as a headphone box for on-the-go mobile use, everything is possible.